in theory, I'm seven years old. I don't remember too many things before these last seven years. What would you do if your life restarted at age 29? If you didn't know who you were, where your family was, but you had a trombone and you knew how to play it. Every day, Benny's here playing beautiful songs for New York City commuters. This is underneath Grand Central. This is one of the busiest subway stations in all of New York City. The New York City subway during rush hour could be one of the most depressing places on the planet. Most of the people kind of have their headphones in. It's New York, so everyone's wearing black. But Benny is bringing a little bit of life to it. He plays soulful, peaceful jams like Hallelujah, What a Wonderful World, and Ave Maria. He needs the money, but he doesn't do it for the money. He does it because of how it makes people feel. I just want people to have a sense of peace when they get up and go to their jobs or when they're getting off work and they're tired for the day and you know, they've been listening to people yelling at them all day, whatever it may be. Um, they come down and they'll hear something. And sometimes people appreciate it. They need it. Benny was raised in Newark, New Jersey, and music was always a part of his life. But at 29, life as he knew it ended. I was uh, driving from a gig, me and one of the um, guys in the band I was in, and we got signed by an 18 wheel and the car flipped a bunch of times. I got thrown out of the car. And um, all I remember was waking up and being in the hospital. I didn't realize that I didn't remember anything. They come in, you know, and they start asking you general questions. You know, hey, do you remember where, know where you are? Yeah, I'm in the hospital. No, do you know where you are? And I'm like, I'm in the hospital. No, and they're like, no, what state are you in? I didn't know. And they were like, what's your name? I didn't know. And then I remember just going through two phases. The first phase was I was, I, I was upset like that this happened to me and this isn't fair and this isn't cool. And then the second phase was kind of like, oh well, like, well, now what do I do? Benny started to piece his life back together. He found family in Montana, Oklahoma, and Alaska, but eventually made his way back to New York City where his mother was and his son, who he didn't even remember. One of the only things he did remember was that he loved to play music. Picked up all the instruments and the trombone was literally the last one. And it was different. It was just like, what the heck is this? And I just started doing it. Despite the challenges, Benny has a bigger heart than almost anyone you've ever met. I mean, he gives out money to every performer he sees, even though he was just working for that same money. They think that's the weirdest thing and I'm like, why? I'm blessed to get it, so why can't I bless somebody else? If it's a dollar that I made from playing, so be it, that's okay. You know, money comes and it goes. Benny's all about sharing his blessings with friends, families, and strangers, even though his life, in too many ways, could use a few blessings of its own. First of all, he doesn't have a consistent place to sleep. And people, you know, they always wonder, like, well, why are you not stressed out? You don't have a general place to go, you don't really have a job, really, you know? But I've been okay, I'm not dead. I eat every day. And, and I have basic necessities, and I feel blessed because of that, you know. Also, he has cancer. It was stage two, now it's stage one. It's just a word that people throw around, and it's a sickness, and you get over it, you beat it, it can be done, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and then I'll be around longer to just help other people do other things. Benny's still in the subway almost every day, for morning and evening rush hour. When he's not, he's running his business building and selling custom Bluetooth speakers. Benny doesn't let anything keep him down. In theory, I'm seven years old. I don't remember too many things before these last seven years. I feel like it's a gift more than people think it's a curse. Hmm. I feel like it's, it's a start over. You don't get a second chance to do things over sometimes. And then when you do, you just make it great. Even small things become important, like waking up in the morning. It's super important. Like, being able to use everything, like your arms and legs and fingers, all that. Some days I ride the train just to look at people and see them smile. When you, when you lose everything, you just pay attention more. And then you find out like, you know, life isn't about this like, getting up and doing this and just being everywhere, being on time and blah, blah, blah. You miss life like that. And I was like, I missed enough of life. You need to take time to stop and look at things. Hey guys, it's Benny D, trombonist, entrepreneur. Rally on!